Welcome back to another TPM tactical video. Today's video is gonna be a video on this image banner. I've had a few people ask me how you actually create it. Um, so I thought I'd just go over the process. It is the actual first mod that I created uh, when dipping into the Armor Reforger tools. So it's a good uh, stepping stone to get you into the, um, the back end of Armor Reforger. Okay, so first things first. Um, oh, as you can see, that was my image banner for one of my test servers. Now I'm just gonna jump back out and go into the workshop. Uh, so server admin. Um, running on your server, you will need a server admin tool. Um, so by Bacon, here it is. And so make sure you have that downloaded and running on your server. And for creating the image itself, you will need this uh, server admin tool image mod by Blackheart6. So make sure you've downloaded that. So I'm just gonna jump out of this and jump into Reforger tools. Okay, so now I'm in the uh, Fusion Workbench launcher. I'm gonna click add project, create new project. So I'm actually making this uh, image mod image banner mod for another Aussie community called Anzac 2nd uh, Commando Regiment. So I'm just gonna call it Anzac um, image banner. Sweet, uh, I'm gonna click create. Once we've been in here, so you can see um, it's created up here, Anzac image banner, awesome. And it workbench and go save. I always like to get in, create it fresh, save it, then log back out. Uh, Armor Reforger tools again, so launch. Here's the uh, mod we're working on now. So I'm gonna right click, open with add-ons, and then find the admin tool, server admin tool image mod. So if you don't have the server admin tool image mod actually available in you, when you search, because you haven't added, you don't have a list of all like a hundred bloody old um, mods in your launcher, click add project, add an existing project. You will need to navigate to, to the actual mod within your uh, documents, my games, armor forge add-ons. Um, okay, so what was I looking for again? Server admin tool, image mod. Well, I cannot see it. There we go. So double click on this uh, or select it and go open. Okay, so here it is. So Anzac image banner, right click, open with add-ons. Server admin tool image mod, done. So click open. That will now load up your newly created mod with this server admin tool image mod. Uh, it's always good when you do load into the workbench, wait for it to finish doing its connection to BI. So it's checking pending um, workshop invites and then pending workshop invites requested, done. If you don't, when you click on this workbench up here, uh, these be all grayed out so you can't publish, can't do anything further uh, with this particular section. Uh, so I'm gonna go to options from here. I'm gonna go into dependencies. I wanna click this plus and I wanna add another dependency being the server admin tool image mod. So click on the box on the right hand side with the two dots, navigate to your mod, in this case it's already selected, double clicked and server admin tool image mod is selected. Okay, and then the old sneaky save. Awesome. Now inside my mod folder here, I wanna create a new folder. I'm gonna call that images. As you can see, it's created up here in the directory. Uh, if we expand the server admin tool image mod structure, you see this sample image. Let's click on the EDDS file. So this is a sample sat image, awesome. Um, so dimensions is what we're looking for here. So 844 by 250. So you can create your image in Photoshop, GIMP or whatever tool you're using. Just make sure it's at this, um, using these pixel dimensions. Okay, so I already have one created. So what I'm gonna do is left click on images because this is where I wanna uh, place the image. Now click and drag it across. Uh, yes to all, so I wanna authorize that. Awesome, it's now uh, imported the JPEG, convert it to an EDDS file, as you can see here. What I'm gonna do now is go into import settings and then on the right hand side, two options I wanna change, format compress and change that to best and color space to sRGB. 
these settings were recommended by Blackheart6. And because he knows what he's doing, I'm going to follow his lead on that. Uh, Reimport resource. So now it's reimported. We are done. Workbench, save. Okay, so it is important to remember the name of this. Um, so let's, I'm just going to copy that. Um, all I want is this part. Actually, no, it's like the whole thing. Control C, going to copy. Okay, uh, now we're going to publish this to the workshop. So workbench, uh, publish to workshop. Preview image, I'm just going to go to where I had that previous image locate, whoop, located. Here it is, here it is here. That's the preview image. Um, tags, I'm gonna type in Anzac, category. Uh, we've got miscellaneous, version 1.0.0. I believe you can have this as unlisted, but for the purpose of this, we're gonna keep it as public. Um, okay, summary, so. Uh, Anzac, what we call it? Image banner mod created for the Anzac. Um, second commando regiment. Awesome. And publish. So it's going to upload now. Published successfully. Okay. So this is the workshop. As you can see, I was looking previously here at the Blackheart um, server admin tool image mod. Let's look for the mod I've created. Here it is, Anzac image banner. If we go in here, obviously that size that I produced was not perfect design for this. Uh, for the summary page, but you still get the point here. Um, awesome. So from here, what you need to do is in your server admin tool configuration, which is located within your profiles folder. Once you open that up into Notepad, um, good idea is to have a plugin that does the JSON uh, format. So format it into JSON rather than just being a ton of lines of information hard to read. So then you go come into here and what you want to do, the server image, uh, server message header image. This needs to go to your actual name of your mod. Uh, so to the, your information from your mod. So what we're going to do is test this out. So what you would do is here at the workshop you got here. So this is the ID that, uh, that is this first section right here awesome that is now pasted in again what i did is i left clicked on this so I copied it you could select it if you want to and right click copy but it's a handy little feature that i've uh, put in there uh, from here you got the images folder so that images folder is from here so this the id we pasted in is pointing to this anzac image banner it is now going to the images folder and then the name of the actual file. Um, actually, before I copied it, which is obviously not going to work now because I've already re overwrote that. So right click, selecting it all, copy. And uh, where is it? And I'm now pasting it in here. Awesome. Okay, so I'm going to pause this for a second. I'm going to load it up on my server and uh, show you the end result. Okay, so I have uploaded it onto my test server. As you can, uh, here's the test server here. Um, so one thing to remember is that you do need to put the mod actually into your config.json. Uh, otherwise your server's not gonna load it. And you also need the admin tool. Um, okay, so as you can see here, and Zach image banner uh, to download. It says zero bytes. I think that's just a bug at the moment. Um, join. And if all goes well, it will actually appear at the load screen. Ah, uh, the load screen, the admin, the message of the day. Here we go. As you can see here, 
there is the new banner. Uh, I know it's a very simple mod, uh, but it is a good stepping stone to get into the Armor Forger tools. Like it's something that I use myself. Uh, if you do want to see different videos or have questions, feel free to ask in the uh, comments or join the Discord. Uh, please like, like, subscribe, and um, yeah, thanks for watching. Cheers, have a good night.